In Beastworm, I've done 50 fuzzy bees and 50 tadpole bees, but in this video, it's time to do 50 spicy bees. But this account has a bit too many honey bees, so let's just step on the scary red button. On it, please ban me. Thanks, babe. So with the 50 spicy bees that I get, I'm gonna have to boost, speed and killing the sump snail, and also do the robot challenge, which might be a little bit of suffering. And here I am back inside a bee game, my favorite game. Most important thing to do is turn off the music. I've been listening to it for too long. Let's get the buffs, which gives me all this stuff up here. Yo, Tappy Love is going so slow, bro. Let's get all bee eggs and auto clean back. Badges. And now, I have every single badge in the game, maybe except the playtime one, and 100,000 of every single item. So yeah, as I mentioned, I'm only gonna use spicy bees for this video, but to start off, I'm gonna use star eggs so I can get 25 bees as fast as possible, and so I can use a red cannon over there. And there we go, I now have 25 bees. So let's just go up and use the red cannon. And of course, this is the Yorick channel, so we use super smoothies for haste. Wait, what, bruh? Why do I have 2.1 trillion pollen in my backpack? Okay, well, I must have done a bit of off-camera grinding that I forgot about. But anyway, let's go inside of the top shop. And first of all, let's buy all the gear. Bam, boom, boop. And the best one in the game, the spark stuff. If anyone tells you otherwise, you should not believe them. And let's also buy another 25 hive slots. I've literally been playing this game for two minutes, and I'm already about to get 50 hive slots. The test room is kind of insane. And now I can fly all the way back to my hive where it is time for the infamous spicy bee so yeah, you see this bee right here i'm gonna have to suffer using the spicy bee for the rest of this video i mean i probably won't be suffering it's probably gonna be a lot of fun and just about done only one more spicy bee left let's go dude i now have 50 spicy bees but don't worry i'm not done yet first of all let's step on this button which has level bees to 20 make gifted i wonder what it does oh it levels my bees to 20 and makes them gifted mixed press air now that i have 50 spicy bees in beast form it's time to get mutations on all of them because any bee becomes so much better when they get a mutation. Doesn't matter what it is. Gather Mountain is probably the best. Same with attack. Attack is pretty insane. The more attack the spicy bees have, the more pollen they collect. And all of my spicy bees now have a mutation. They should be a lot more OP now. But anyway, it's time to move on to getting amulets. So since I have this many spicy bees, I'm obviously gonna get a Scorching Star and Star Saw. That is not it. That is Star Shower, not Star Saw. But Scorch Saw is the best for red hives, which is why I'm gonna get it. Because this is probably the most cursed red hive anyone has ever seen. Okay, there we go. Wait, this is actually kind of insane. I mean, it does have blue pollen, but whatever. Moving on to the moon amulet. Honey per pollen. Let's replace. Honey per pollen is the best thing you can get on the moon amulet. Now it's time for the ant amulet. Now this ant amulet is pretty OP. Let's Let's replace moving on to the supreme cog amulet my first roll is actually so op red pollen and flame pollen well i have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of flames in the field so that's great for me moving on to the diamond stick bug amulet please do not scammer me on it i've been playing for six years give me something good this is also really op the supreme shell amulet bro what is my luck the shell amulet is also insane and lastly the king beetle amulet so let's replace all of that and now i have the best amulets in the game which brings me to my next step getting the best gear in the game so there's no better place to start off and there's no better place to test out my spicy bees than on the coconut crab. So let's just speed run this, pop the nectar tester, which gives me every single nectar, pop super smoothie, marshmallow bee for good luck, and let's jump in here. Spicy bees, attack! Dude, this many spicy bees- Oh my gosh, that sound is so loud, dude. All those rage tokens together, that is so loud. And the coconut crab is dead in how long? In literally 15 seconds, the crab is dead. Oh my gosh. Well, spicy bees are pretty freaking OP to say the least, especially in attack. Now that I killed the crab, let's buy the clogs and the canister. Yo, on it, when will you add the coconut belt? It's been ages. Please just add it to the game. And before I forget, I definitely have to cop the petal belt because everyone always tells me I forget it in the comments. I don't know why. I never forget it. And if someone tells me in the comments that I forgot the petal belt, I will ban you. And I will send beehives to your house. Since I did just become a red hive, it's probably fitting that I buy the dark scythe and the fire mask. Best amulet in the game, the sussy supreme saturator. Best guards, I would definitely buy the sexiest mask in the game, the honey mask, but I'm not a white hive today. The demon mask, and lastly, the gooey sticky icky gummy boots. Oh my gosh, so sticky. So yeah, before I boost and kill the sump snail, I'm gonna spend a little bit of honey on treats. And by a little bit, I mean I'm gonna spend all my life savings on treats. All that gave me 10 quadrillion honey for a reason. And there we go. I I've bought a small amount of treats. Not too many, of course. I wouldn't want to go bankrupt making this video. So yeah, let's level up as many spicy bees as I possibly can. I think 10 quadrillion honey worth of treats is enough to level up at least like 15 bees to level 21. Maybe even 20. Right, well that took a little too long, but now I have something like 20 bees to level 21. Which should definitely bring me to like 29 quadrillion honey per second. Like I said in the start of the video, I'm gonna have to speed on killing the sump snail, so let's do exactly that. So I'm gonna try my very best to kill the sump snail in less than 5 minutes. 
minutes. Only using spicy bees, of course. So let's just get my sprinkler, my coconuts, and some jelly beans. And spicy bees, you ready? Let's just jump in the field. And as soon as my bees attack, I'm gonna start the timer. Okay, three, two, one. Spicy bees are attacking. All right, let's start the speedrun timer. And let's also start using the coconuts. So maybe they do a bit more damage to the sump snail. And oh my gosh, that is quite a bit of damage. The sump snail has already taken over 1 million health. Dude, look at all these rage tokens. That is pain to my ears. The one thing I don't like about all these spicy bees is the amount of rage tokens. Like all I hear, all I hear in my headphones is like, <laughs> dude, that's all I hear. Exactly one minute in, and the sump snail has taken 5 million health. So I'm gonna have to speed things up if I want to kill the sump snail in less than five minutes. But I believe there's still a chance if I really try my best and you know if I just become a little better at the game. This is obviously a matter of skill. If I really wanted to, I could kill the sump snail in two minutes with spicy bees, but I'm not gonna try that today. Right, a minute and 30 in, and I have almost done another 5 million damage. Dude, I wonder whether flames actually do damage. Is that why I'm doing so much more damage than before? I think it's possible. Speaking of damage, I've done 15 million damage to the sump snail, so it's halfway dead. Please, spicy bees, just sing the sump snail now. I feel like all these flames have increased global warming by at least 50%. All these spicy bees are not very eco-friendly, but whatever. As long as I'm doing damage, I don't care. I only have two minutes left to do over 11 million damage. Do you guys think it's possible? Tell me in the comments. I think it is. And if I think something is true, then it's definitely true. Okay, only 9 million more damage. 8 million. 5 million. Dude, I only have one minute left. I really have to hurry things up here. Less than a million health left. And the sum sale is... It's dead. Let's go, dude. But it's a bronze shell amulet! Bro, why is it every time I kill the sump snail, it's always a bronze shell? I swear, the day I get something other than a bronze shell, the first time I kill the snail, it's gonna be a miracle if that ever happens. But yeah, I have killed the sump snail only using spicy bees in 4 minutes and 43 seconds. What was my attack? Well, my attack right now is 27,000, which is kind of garbage. My attack was probably like 50,000 or something. Pretty good for spicy bees. Now that I've killed the sump snail, the next obvious thing to do would be to boost only using spicy bees. But before I do that, I'm gonna open the Monda gift box which gives me all this garbage, which I don't care about. But most importantly, it gives me the Honey Day event, which doubles my pollen and convert rate. And who doesn't like extra pollen? Extra pollen is extra honey, so I'm not complaining. So I'm gonna refresh my smoothie and the marshmallow beef for good luck again. I'm not really sure what I should donate. For blue hives, I donate purple potions, but for red, I'm gonna do Mythic Eggs, because obviously Mythic Eggs are the best thing to donate for red wins. That was not voice crack, by the way. That was intentional. And I don't plan on doing too many gifted Mythic Eggs. I definitely don't want to run out. That would not be good for business. All right, I think that's good enough. 69420. So 3, 2, 1. Let's donate it to the Wind Shrine. Minus 69420 gifts with Myth Gags. Please give me some red fields. If you don't, you're a scammer. Bro, I got strawberry and mushroom. Are you kidding me? Not even rose or pepper. Okay, whatever. Well, since that's the case, let's get some extra pollen and strawberry. So yeah, plus one red B attack. And 93% strawberry field pollen. And now I should be making a lot more. So I'm really curious how much honey I can make only using spicy bees. First of all, let's get times four strawberry. There we go. I can also start using some snowflakes for some extra capacity. And already we are making over 100 million honey per second. Now, that is obviously not a crazy amount, but I have a feeling it's gonna increase quite a bit. Although, what does suck about spicy bees, you do not get any red boost tokens, which you need to activate the Scorching Star, but I'll still boost only using spicy bees for a few minutes to see how much honey I can make with them. So far, it's nothing crazy. See, I've been doing this for a few minutes, and it seems like at max, I'm only making like 300 million honey per second. So yeah, spicy bees are obviously not meant to be used 50 at a time. They might be really good if you use like 30 or something, but 50 is definitely not it. So just for the sake of boosting, I'm gonna spice up the hive a little bit, quite literally. The pun was not intended. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna spice up the hive a little bit. So I'm gonna add the bare minimum amount of bees to actually make this boost functional. So let's get Festa Bee, Digital, Crimson, Bear Bee. The video will become even better after this. So yeah, we got some baby bees, some musics, Commander, Looker, and boys, this should be it. This is the bare minimum that I'm gonna use for boosting. And now I should be able to make more than 200 million honey per second, which is absolutely dog water. I already noticed such a big difference bro. Already making like 400, 500 million per second. Maybe you can get to 1 billion soon. And there we go. 1 billion honey per second. Only using spicy bees. More or less, okay? I still have a grand total of 34 spicy bees. And over 1 billion honey per second. Only using spicy bees. I have a whole 34, okay? It counts. 2 billion per second. Yo, bro, that is so much honey. Oh my gosh, that was 10 billion per second. It's gonna be even more when I get my Scorching Star, which should be really soon considering I can now get red boost tokens. You really take for granted all the abilities you have until you can only use one type of bee. And I've gotten my first Scorching Star. Let's go, dude. Now it's time to make 29 quadrillion honey per second. Well, first of all, I'm just gonna test the waters to see how much I can make without the Festa Bean, but I think I just spoiled my plan. So yeah, I'm gonna use the Festa Bean next Scorching Star I get. But right now, I'm still making quite a good amount. And the Scorching Star is going to be very thick, almost as thick as your sister. 
sister. Dude, 12,013. 14. Oh my gosh. That is insane. 15,000 Scorching Star. Wow, that is super pogger. So yeah, the next Scorching Star I get, you'll see me waste one of my many Festa Beans. Usually I hate using Festa Beans. Even if I have 100,000 of them, I just don't like wasting them. But hey, for the video, I'll make the sacrifice. And I've gotten the Scorching Star again. Let's pop the Festa Bean and grow out the Scorching Star as big as possible. And I'm already making over 10 bill per second. Wow. 11 billion. Hopefully it's gonna be even more. 40 billion? What? Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is actually crazy. And the Scorching Star is already at like 11 billion. Oh my gosh. Yo, just give me some precise tokens. Precise B, I'm begging you. Okay, there we go. Precision. Yeah, the Scorching Star is actually going kind of crazy. Almost as crazy as Vitamin. And the Scorching Star is over. I did make a few trillion honey from that. So I'm gonna do one last Scorching Star. And then this suffering can continue straight into the Robo Challenge. Like I promised. Yes, you heard me right. I'm gonna do the Robo Challenge only using spicy bees. Yo, what? I, I have no clue how I just got up to like 40 billion per second. I guess miracles happen. Speaking of which, my second Scorching Star. Now this one, trust me. When I said it's gonna be thick, I mean it. I already got the X-Flame and everything. The Scorch is already at 9,000, 10,000, 12, 15, and I'm still making like 30 billion per second. Okay, Scorching Star popped out like 17,000. That was actually really insane. So let's see how much I actually made from boosting only using Spicy Bees. Well, more or less. So it looks like I made around 10 billion only using Spicy Bees, which is actually really cool. So as promised, I'm gonna go back to only using Spicy Bees for the rest of the video. And there we go. Let's just gift all of them. So yeah, to actually do the Robo Challenge, you first have to talk to Robo Bear and repair him. Well, now I somehow have to get one of each drive, which shouldn't be that difficult. Conveniently, there's this Get Drives button, which if I step on it, I get a few drives. Not too many, of course. On it, wouldn't want to make the Robo Challenge too OP for me. But yeah, anyway, let's repair the Robo Bear. And boys, I think I'm officially ready to suffer. So yeah, let's just pick the best upgrades I can possibly get. Round one is done. And the most difficult question I've ever been asked in my life, which bee do I want to choose? Spicy bee? Spicy bee or spicy bee? Yeah, I don't know, dude. It's gonna be a difficult one. Oh, again, with the difficult questions on it, why are you doing this to me? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna get spicy bee. I don't know what else. It's really difficult choosing which spicy bee you want to get. Round two's over, but I do hope the robot challenge doesn't make me lose my sanity too much. Round three, time for more spicy bees. And you can probably tell it's the next day because all my nectars ran out. Anyway, let's use the super smoothie again, the nectar tester, marshmallow bee, and all that good stuff. And round three is done. Oh, I did not mean to spawn the robot party, but whatever. Robot party should not be a problem. Now we can do clover and rose field, easy, spicy bee, and spicy bee. Reroll. Uh, all this stuff is garbage. Let's get some more pollen and some white pollen. Alt rose is done, and clover is done. Let's go. Or since it's bee swarm, should I be saying, let's go. Get it, goo, gumdrops. <laughs> I know, I'm just the funniest. And like and subscribe if you cringed. It's a win-win for me. It's a win-win for you as well. You get the best Beast from content there is. Okay, more B attack homepage. Round five, the most painful challenge in all of the Robo Challenge. And that's saying something. Because the Robo Challenge is quite painful in its own, but this has got to be the most torturous round there is. Because dude, I cannot do anything. I just have to wait for these stupid mosquitoes. You know when you're trying to fall asleep and then you just hear a mosquito in your room like... I should get back to the suffering. I'll see you when I'm done with this torturous round. Round five is done. Yeah. What is round six? Please don't be too painful. Okay, easy mushroom field. Spicy, spicy. Why am I even saying the bees that I'm getting? It's literally all spicy bees. Okay, let's get some pollen from bees, because why not? Remember, the global warming buff from spicy bee is actually kind of OP. And if you use it right, it can get you a lot of pollen. So yeah, but you have to make sure global warming is leveled up by getting more pollen from bees. There we go. Round six is done. As soon as it started, it's over. Mushroom, mountain, bam, bam. Boom. Boom, boop, bop. Seven is done. Eight is done. Nine is done. Well, for round 10, I do have to kill 10 cogs around the map. Or 10 cogmores, I should say. Gotta be specific. There are some right here in strawberry. Straw is done. Pineapple is done. Pumpkin is done. And round 10 is done. Let's go, dude. Round 11. Okay, pineapple and pine tree. Or just blue pollen. You know what? I'm just gonna do the blue pollen over in blue flower. And I can get homepage up even more. Perfect. The reason I'm gonna do blue flower is because of homepage upgrade. I already have it to level 5. And it just gives you so much multiplier in low tier fields. As you can tell, it's pretty freaking OP. 11's done. Round 12 is almost done. And look, the infamous Golden Cogmower. Well, first of all, let's kill it and get some extra cogs. Let's see how many it's gonna give. Right, so an extra 16 cogs. That is actually insane. It's gonna help me so much. And Golden Cogmower is actually kinda rare, so it's really cool to find one. Round 12 is done. Round 13 is done. Yeah! 
Why? Homepage is already up to level nine. Oh my gosh. Or level eight, sorry. So I get times three pollen from the bottom four fields. So let's do this red and blue pollen quest real quick. Should be rather simple, actually. And I forgot that I have all these drives. Might as well use some of them on these difficult rounds. Round 14 is done. And now round 15, where I have to kill 10 mega idiot mosquitoes. Although it shouldn't be too difficult, considering I have a few spicy bees at my disposal. Right, some more red pollen. Let's also get times two red field capacity. Definitely gonna need that. Okay, you know what? I'm actually getting incredibly harassed by these mega mosquitoes. Bro, and some guy's claiming every single batch in the game. Bruh. Round 15 is done. Let's go. Not sure how I beat the round. I thought I was gonna lose. Actually, you know what? I shouldn't even be saying that. Because I obviously know this is the best hive you can possibly ask for. Yo, 1.5 build pollen and some goo. Easy. Let's just hope I keep getting quests like that. And luckily for me, there is some random guy with a bunch of fuzzy balls in this field. So, once more, even more pollen for me. Round 16 is done. I'll be honest, I'm pretty surprised that only using fuzzy beasts has gotten me this far through the robot challenge. I thought I would lose at round 15 or something, but hey, here I am at round 17, absolutely slaying. Round 17's done. Oh. Dude, how am I gonna do this? Pineapple Mountain? Okay, that is gonna be suffering. I'm just gonna reroll this quest. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. Bro, Dandelion and Pumpkin. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'll just do that. Whatever. I can probably do Dandelion easily. I have homepage to level 10. I max it out. Let's go, dude. Time is 3.5 pollen from the bottom fields. Now let's also get white pollen, normal pollen, and hope and pray, dude. You guys should pray for me that I will be able to finish this round. Super smoothie. I really need some more little dice because I have like two. And I'm pretty positive it's not going to be enough. So let's craft at least a few more. Luckily for me, I don't even have to be inside a day shop. Let's just feed this up. There we go. And let's get pumpkin field boost. Yes. Okay, that is actually so parker. And I'm getting a good amount of pollen. Hopefully I don't die. That is a lot of damage, Cogmower. No, it's him. No, it's not. I know. I'm him. But it's not him though. Dude, I feel like this guy with the gummy ball or stream sniping me. He's just been chasing me with fuzzy bees. And obviously I don't mind. But I never asked anyone to chase me with fuzzy bees. I don't even have to use child labor that is unpaid for free fuzzy bees. Anyway, pumpkin is almost done. Yeah, okay, deadline time, which hopefully should not be that difficult. I mean, I did max out homepage for a reason, right? I maxed it out, so stuff like deadline can be incredibly simple. And it is actually simple. Dude, look at all that pollen. Oh my gosh, that is insane. That is why homepage is OP. And deadline is done. Let's go. Round 19 is done. That is OP. And dude, I still have only spicy bees. That is insane. Okay, rose and strawberry. Easy enough. All the stuff like focus tokens, grant extra pollen. Yeah, you know what? I do not have a single focus token, so that does not apply to me. But let's start off doing rose or whatever field I get first for my load of dice. Please be rose or strawberry. That is not what I need. Mushroom is not the field I need. Okay, rose. Slay. Let's do it first. And it shouldn't be that difficult at all. Right, rose field is done. Strawberry time. Please on that. Just give me strawberry from load of dice. I barely have any. That is not it. That is it. For once, it's it. Usually, it's never it, but today on it's feeling generous. Bro, why is this guy chasing me with all his fuzzy balls? I don't like all these fuzzy balls on my face. Not the preferable way to spend my time, but hey, I don't judge, okay? I, I don't judge at all. <laughs> okay, so the man actually heard me. Bro, I literally said I, I don't want fuzzy balls on my face and he left the field. What is going on? Is this guy spying on me? Yo, are you in my attic? Ever since we moved into this new house, we have not checked the attic. There could be some random homeless guy living in the attic and we would not know. Maybe it's this guy. Yo, are you in my attic, Abby? Are you in my attic, bro? Yes? <laughs> okay, so my suspicions were confirmed. And round 20. Okay, please give me your pollen. <laughs> Dude, white pollen. Why? That is a scam. Okay, that is why you have quest reroll, boys. For garbage like this. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna get my spicy bees. Reroll. That is a scam. Reroll again. Let's just get some more pollen. And first of all, I'm gonna kill all of the cog mowers. And then I'm obviously gonna get all the pollen done over in Dandelion. Should be simple enough, right? Pop glitch drive, red drive. That's all I really need. White drive as well, because why not? And blue drive for funsies. And please, cog mowers, die. I've been at this for too long. <gasps> That is a lot of damage. Oh my gosh. Okay, all the idiots here in Sunflower are dead. Where are the other Cogmores? There's three more fields. Okay, summon Strawberry. Strawberry is almost done. Easy. You know what's great about having 50 Spicy Bees? You activate your X-Flame every two seconds. It's kind of OP. I mean, if I had Precise Bees in the Scorching Star, it would be even better. But unfortunately for me, I don't. Where are the other Cogmores, bro? What the hecking heck, bro? Okay, Bamboo and Pineapple, I presume. Yeah, Pineapple. Easy. Well, for now, we got to kill Bamboo. And then I'll have like two minutes to get. 60 billion white pollen. Is it doable? Yes, it is. Fire? Yeah, I agree, bro. Global warming. That's what this hive is. The last field I have to kill Cogmores in is pineapple. Please, pineapple. 
Dude, look at that. I just get the rage tokens that Spicy Bee gives me and explain pops. But anyway, I killed all the Cogmores I need. So now it's time for Dandelion. Luckily for me, the guy that's in my attic is over here already with all of his fuzzy balls. Oh, and I gotta pop the super smoothie again. Same with the marshmallow bee. Now it's time to complete this stupid round. That's gonna cause me nothing but pain and suffering. I have 30 seconds left to get something like 20 billion white pollen. I hope it's not too difficult. Obviously, I'm gonna get it, right? On it would never scam me. I've been doing this for an hour. That is, in fact, a skill issue on my end. Definitely nothing wrong with the hive that I'm using. It's the most OP hive you can ever get. Yo, aphid, let's go. Give me something good. Oh, that is a scam. Well, anyway, I got the gold cog amulet. Only using spicy bees. I'm just gonna replace. It's like a metal you get as a kid, you know? It's plastic that's painted in gold, but I earned it. Just like you earned your plastic gold metal as a kid. But yeah, 50 spicy bees. It's been quite an experience. A pleasant one? I'm not sure. Probably not. You know, I had to suffer the whole time, but it's an experience. But yeah, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.